Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to make our way to the Adam Katz garage. But before we do, I'd like to say that I did go ahead and upgrade the heavy combat armor that I had picked up in the last episode. So now we're a little beefier, a little stronger, but we're not unkillable. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is come out here and head northeast. We'll pull out our weapon. Start making our way down this road. We'll make a right and then a quick left. Pick up some buff out. Be really careful. Usually there's some kind of enemies over there fighting. We're almost to the Adam Katz garage. I really like this place. It kind of reminds me of the tunnel snakes in a way. Because tunnel snakes rule. We're just going to keep walking down this way. Grab this fusion core and then we're going to go inside this house and we're going to get a magazine and listen to a hollow tape. So let's grab the hot rider magazine. Yes. You're going to read that now? That's a new paint for our power armor. We'll go ahead and listen to the cat's poetry night tape one. Call this one Metal Heart. <clears throat> metal legs, metal arms, metal heart. Tool of war, tool of peace, tool of art. I get into my suit and I strut through the wastes. No fear, untouchable. The flames on my suit burning, rising, glowing. The flames are hot, but I am cool. I walk. I run. I ride. My hands are strong. I am a man. No, more than a man. Because, man, I have a metal heart. Thank you. We're going to come over here and grab the unarmed bobblehead. Hell yeah. They're not dolls. They're action figures. Love that trophy. Hey, Nosebleed. Just where do you think you are? This is Adam Cat territory. Cool name. Intimidating. Go back to Nowheresville where you belong. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. And you don't look like you've ever used one. Oh, <laughs> you got me, Jack. You got me. All right, all right. Hey, you're one step closer to Coolsville. Now, let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. This is a great place to get stuff for your power armor. 
We're gonna come over here. I don't know why I thought there was a door right there. And then, oh, I'm sorry, we have another hollow tape to listen to. It is right here. I wrote this one about this thing. Rowdy has it like a thousand projects today. going on. So I, I call it for you. Hard shell. It's off me. A walk on the beach. Doing my thing. Staying cool. A thing breaks the surface of the dark water. A pair of claws under a dome of naughty shell. I'm caught. Play your cards right, and we stand to make a whole Beady lot of money. Beady little eyes look at me from deep within the shell. Beady little eyes, full of hunger, full of rage. I pull out my gun and shoot! But the bullets only bounce off that crusty shell. Those beady eyes narrow as the shell devil grows angrier and angrier. He comes at me faster than before. A bullet finds its way through a crack in the dome. The demon screeches in pain. Those beady eyes close. I reap the spoils from the kill! And I think, this thing and I, we are kind of the same. For I, too, am soft meat under a hard shell. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, I'm Rowdy, and I, uh, I wrote this po poem. You're doing fine. What's it called? It's called, An Ode to My Hammer. You got this, Rowdy. A an Ode to My Hammer, so heavy and nice. Oh, I I'm sorry, I can't do this. Oh, Rowdy, come back. Can someone turn off the recorder? I love those recordings. We're going to steal this bowler's hat. Hey, I never got a chance to properly thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. We're friends. No thanks necessary. Well, I wanted to say it anyway. You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh... I mean, things like that. Cursing doesn't offend me, you know. I didn't think it did. It's not about you, it's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. Had a beautiful wife named Lucy, and a son we named Duncan. He's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. You must have had a good reason to leave them behind. That's what I keep telling myself. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. 
Yeah, I wanted to grab that bowler hat so he would chat with us. We got to get his affinity up high enough so that he will. Saw you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? Jeez. Ibot just pushes me out of the way. Here to help. Tops, from the looks of it, I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam Cat in you. Wants all Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. The only cat in me is the one I cooked up for dinner last night. Don't sell yourself short, Buster. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of Warwick for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. No problem. The Warwick folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills. They give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. We'll be doing that in just a change, little bit. Than having to look over your shoulder. For now, let's leave the Adam Cat's garage. We're going to backtrack a little bit here. We're going to be saving a boy in a fridge. This is where we came over to before when we were doing the Mechanist DLC. Be really careful, there is a tripwire over here. Over there is, not there, not the red rocket, but over here is the Quincy Corys. You can go over there and get into Vault 88. I know I said that before, but I'm just letting everybody know. Just keep heading north. gonna come over here for just a second grab that marker come out to the road keep heading north Thing. Is someone in there? Let me out! Who are you? My name is Billy. Please. I've been trapped in here for so long. How did you end up in there? I hid in here to get away from the bombs. But there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs were over 200 years ago. You're that old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please. I don't want to die in here. Okay, okay. I'll let you out. Yes. I've been stuck in here for so long. Hurry up. Shoot the door off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. I guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? I'll take you someplace safe. I just want to go home. I want to find my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. There better be some gold at the end of this rainbow if you catch my meaning. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. Uh, it's really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. We're gonna go and take Billy home. So now we're gonna backtrack again. Cute kid. 
Is he for sale? What? Never. Yeah! Your loss. If you change your mind, bring him to my camp. Anytime you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging, you just, uh, you just let me know. Let's start heading south back towards Quincy. Hop over this. Now we're heading east. Essentially, we're heading back to where we started the video. That's where our Billy's parents' house is, or Billy's house is. We're gonna hang a right. And then a left. And then one more right. And then at the crossroads here, hang a left and Billy's house is right here. Out of the way, McCready. Billy's trying to get inside. Son, is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my God! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. <clears throat> Thank you for bringing us back our little boy. You there, in the house. I want those ghouls, especially that kid. You can give him up peaceful like, or die trying to save him. That's the man that tried to buy me. Oh my God, they want Billy. They won't take us, Carol. At least not alive. Billy, get upstairs. The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. God damn it! All right, boys, we're heading south. Double time! Shh! Everybody be quiet. Hey. Thank you for bringing us back, our little boy. And saving us from that man. I'm glad we found you. Here. Take this. I wish I had more to give you, but we don't have much. Now we're going to head out the back door and head towards the Poseidon energy plant. I'm going to come off to the north here for just a moment, just so we can get to the road. Casualties. Now he's just starting to have fun. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. Let's heal ourselves. We're going to be going up top. Eyes on my back. Playtime's over. 
You're dead. You hear me? Oh. Just keep moving up. They already see us, so there's no sense in crouching. Dude, McCready, you are always falling off of places, man. You're very clumsy, my dude. Safety off. I think we have company. Oh, you fucking think? Ain't nothing. Okay, I don't think there's any more enemies, so that's good. Let's go ahead and go into this. Tr oh, yeah, <laughs> you can't. It does have where it's like, oh, you can open up the door, but it won't open up. So let's go ahead and lock pick this lock. Yes. Turn on our pit boy lamp. Also, I only have one bobby pin now because that's all I need. Grab this cap stash. and use a stim pack. Quit moving so I can kill you. Oh, there he is. I'm like, where the hell is Cuddy? We'll go loot Cuddy in a minute. We can stand up. We should be all right. Yeah, we killed everybody. Grab some jet. Then right over here, we're going to get the endurance bobblehead. There we go. Get one point into endurance. And then we're going to get the Tesla science. Hell yeah. And then that is it. If we come over here. We can go around and loot Cuddy. If you want to loot all of in here, you can. There's actually quite a bit of loot. Let's exit the Poseidon energy plant. We're going to go down this way. Let's go back out to the road here and then we're going to hang a right when we get to the road. Start going east.
We're going to be heading towards that big old ship that is ran aground. Be really careful, these barnacles will spit, um, radiation at you. Just trying to find the word. Got a couple of mire lurks. Should be one more over here. see it. Normally there's one more over here. Who will anger angrip us? We will put a level in here in a second. Matter of fact, let's do that now. We can put one into... Not luck. Yes, luck. <laughs> we can put one more into luck. And then bloody mess is what we will start working on next. We'll max that out, and then I think we'll start working on toughness after that. Let's take some rat away and then some rat X. I think these guys are speaking German. Sure, we're not alone. German or Swedish. <coughs> Some kind of Northern European dialect. <coughs> but they're all ghouls, so they could be from anywhere. Let's go ahead and turn that radio off. We're going to pick up this magazine, Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. There we go. You hear that? Oh, no, you don't. There you are. McCready, get out of my way, homie. Did he fall down through the I think he did. Go back from border ship. McCready, thanks. Literally standing right there. Couldn't shoot him, just let him hit me in the face. Some companion you are, bud. We can stand up now. There's nobody else on the ship. We can come over here, turn this radio off. There's so many radios over here. If you want to read some lore and turn off the spotlight, and I believe the turrets... You can hack that terminal. Over here, we're going to get the agility bobblehead. Perfect. 
now our agility is maxed out. We're a little sneakier and we got some more action points to use for vats or running in general. We're gonna hop off here and then we're gonna head north out to the road. We're going to come to the shed off to the side here on Warwick Homestead. Install that part. And then we're going to talk to June. Guess she's inside over here. Oh my god, every time I come in here, this lady is just chilling in the ground. All right. What's up, June? <clears throat> I saw you working in the pump shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? Meow. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? Yep, should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Atom Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please... Send Zeke my thanks. Okay, we're almost done. Now what we're going to do is swim over to Spectacle Island. We're going to take some Radex. I always hate swimming over here. Anytime that I get in the water, it just freaks me out. Again, I know there's nothing in the water, but it still <laughs> freaks me out so bad. We're going to head over to the green tugboat. If there was anything in this water, I would never go swimming and fall out. Just saying. Wouldn't be able to do it. Be too much of a pansy. Get rid of our rads. Now, we can pull this circuit breaker. And you know what? I think we're going to do that first. It'll be easier. We're going to be fighting a Myrler Queen. There's a hunter over here, too. Okay, we got all of that done. Let's go ahead and grab a luck bubble head. Nice. Now we're going to follow these pylons down to a shack over here. Just follow the wire. You won't get lost. We'll also discover Spectacle Island in earnest. We're going to come over here. Eh, we'll grab the rad roach meat. Right here, this is just the signal checklist. Flip that breaker. Super dead. Uh, arms bleeding pretty bad. Uh, can't take much more. Find 
anything useful on him? Jeez. That was easy. Okay, let's go into our pit boy. Now that we matter of fact, oh, there's enemies around? Where? Oh, right there. It's just standing right there. Didn't even notice it. We will claim Spectacle Island, but I won't do anything with it. It's just to claim it. Now let's go ahead and go over to the Adam Cat's garage. We'll come talk to Rowdy. Rowdy. Oh, all done? Yep. You're gonna have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. Ooh, that June is a doll! And her Myrler cakes are the most far-out thing I have ever tasted! Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So he had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. Should we rustle his jimmies with something else? Crap! We got gunners coming in hot! Gunners! Not again. Adam Cats! Let's stop! Something's out there. Take out the gunners. <laughs> Be careful, they do have an assault tron. That I thought I seen. Oh, there, there she is. Or it. I don't know why I called it a she. I guess because the assault trons just kind of seem feminine. Go talk to Zeke. Ugh, gunners! Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. But you, Jack? Ho <laughs> ho You slayed! Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. It was no big deal. No. You, you are out of sight. And a friend of the cats in my book. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah? Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Katz jacket. Wear it well, Jack. There's nothing like the feeling of strutting around in your suit, Jack. Okay, I think over here is where we're going to end the video for the day. Why am I... That is so weird. <laughs> I was in the ground. I was looking like June there. Anyhow, right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.